Hello, I'm Gary Thornton with White Poultry USA magazine, and I'm here with Dr. Paul Aho of Poultry Perspective to talk about the prices of corn and poultry. Uh, Paul, yesterday uh, the June WASD report was released, and corn prices were up 25 cents. Uh, how is this making a, a difference for poultry prices and poultry producers' profits? Well, uh in this current crop year, 2010-2011, we had the highest prices ever for corn. Uh, and now, it's the projection is that next year will be even higher. So we've had back-to-back -back years of record high prices. And so, in a way, this is worse than 2008, when we had prices that were a little higher than we have right now, but we, it didn't last for a full two years. So this is having a, a big impact on any industry that uses corn. So what were prices uh, yesterday? Is it yeah, uh, it, uh, the July uh, futures reached uh, 794 so almost $8 a bushel. Uh, and um, in the poultry and the chicken industry right now, we have a combination of very high corn prices and uh, relatively low chicken prices. So uh, it's, not, uh, it's not the most favorable situation for the chicken industry. So there's some unprofitability out there. There's some unprofitability. There's, there's a, a bad patch here uh, the rest of this uh, calendar year. Well, the uh, USDA and the Ag Secretary have a little trouble connecting the dots, don't they, between uh, <laughs> ethanol uh, and corn and uh, corn prices. And how, how, does, how, does that, uh, how does that work, in your opinion? What's well, going on? I, I think... Uh, a lot of times where you stand depends on where you sit, and I think the, uh, the corn uh, producers have done a very good job of lobbying uh, to uh, protect their own interests, and I certainly don't uh, blame them for doing that. Uh, and I think uh, what we have is uh, perhaps a little excess on the side of, uh, of ethanol production. Well, there have been probably uh, quite a few new uh, combines put in some sheds in Iowa this uh, past couple of years, would you say? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not the case in the case of uh, poultry profitability, however. Uh, well, you know, the Ag Secretary uh, uh, and USDA economists have consistently said that there's no relationship or there's little relationship. They've at least, at the very least, uh, downplay the relationship between the amount of uh, corn, taking billions of bushels of corn uh, and converting it to the production of fuel from food, from originally used for food. Uh, this is uh, really a puzzling uh, situation, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, I think the the solution, there has to be some kind of compromise, uh, I think, in the future. And I think uh, uh, those of us in the poultry industry are not, are not suggesting that the ethanol industry be dismantled. But I think... Uh, uh, there needs to be some kind of compromise in the future, and I think the compromise might take the form of a at least a a slower increase or a, a, a halt in the increase in the production of ethanol, not a decrease. I think even if we were to level off uh, ethanol production where it is right now, the effects of ethanol on, on corn prices would reduce over a period of time. Well, uh, some people have suggested that possibility of some variable uh, subsidies as well, have they not? Yeah, and but of course the, the important thing is the mandate. Uh, so we can get distracted by the issue of subsidies. Uh, the subsidies are probably going away uh, no matter what, but it's the mandate that's the, the, the key provision. Mm -hmm. Well, I bought gasoline uh, this week. Uh, I'm, <laughs> we're here on the road uh, for $3.79 a gallon. So you could question how much impact the uh, policies are having on gas prices in, in the fuel supply, uh, but maybe they're having more impact on food prices. Yeah, there's, uh, there's little or no effect on the price of oil, but the, uh, the factors in the world that are increasing the price of oil are now causing the price of corn to go up and down with oil due to the ethanol connection. Uh, so we're, we're stuck to oil. Now the good news about that is that oil doesn't always go up. There'll be a moment when oil goes down. 
and uh, there'll be a moment when we have a good harvest. So I think this next crop year might be the worst one for poultry producers, but then the year after that might get uh, better from the point of view of uh, corn users. Well, there's also a question of scale, too, is that there uh, the amount of corn produced in this country and capable of being produced is not sufficient to make a large dent in the uh, supply of ethanol in terms of the demand for uh, fuel. Yeah, we're, uh, we're using 40% uh, of the corn crop. You could adjust that down to 25% if you take out the DDGs, uh, and that's providing 10% of our, uh, a little bit less than 10% of our fuel. So uh, if we use the entire corn crop, we could produce 40% uh, of our gasoline. Well, let's hope that the Ag Secretary uh, has a little mercy on uh, poultry and meat producers and, <laughs> and, and gives us some uh, amendments in the, uh, the policy, just, just a little bit. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Thank you.